I'm a beautiful family and welcome to another of my videos. Sorry for my boring background, but promise it's going to change soon. I just had some renovation around here in the filming space, so that's why you see this. But we are here today to talk about my trash. So let's go through my trash. <laughs> This makeup look I already filmed. I think that we used before these ones. If it is, I'm going to link it up there. The only difference is that I put some eyelashes on and a lip plumper to make my lips more juicy and plump. So that's the only difference. Otherwise, it's exactly the same. Look, same clothes, same everything. But I feel pretty today and I want to go through my trash. So the first product I want to talk about is actually something that I got in one of my subscriptions box. This is the Fresh Soy Facial Cleanser. I think I got it in Goodie Box. And this is actually one of the best, best uh, cleansers that I've tried. This is for all skin types. Uh, I am allergic to soy to like eating it, but I was kind of scared that my skin is going to react kind of strange to it, but it didn't. So I'm very happy about that. I really like this cleanser. It does remove the excess of my makeup. I do I do go th in with another cleanser or makeup remover before I go in with this one, but this is my second step because I do like to uh, go in with two different cleansers when I'm removing my makeup. But uh, And I also use my makeup towel makeup what it's called the makeup towel makeup remover towel something like that. you know what i'm talking about i think you do <laughs> but i do, do like to double cleanse my skin to remove all of the makeup that i have and i like it i can see myself for purchasing now i bought two other on my two other of cleansers that are heard so good things about that I'm excited to try out. So that's the only reason why I don't buy this one, but I really like it. And I could see myself repurchasing this. Why not? So yay for that. The second thing I've used up is this Ivy, I, I uh, can't, can't pronounce the name. I think you can see it here. This is the skin tonic with hyaluronic acid for normal and combination skin. I liked it. It wasn't anything special. I also think I got this in my subscription box from Goodie Box. I'm not subscribed to it anymore. Let me know down below if you still want to see me reviewing those boxes. Um, it didn't get a lot of views, so that's why I stopped, you know, subscribing to it. But if you're interested, you want to see more, please let me know. I'm, I'm kind of missing my, you know, my subscription boxes. I finished all of them or stop receiving any of those. I think I had Look Fantastic, Goodie Box and Glossy Box, so I don't have anything of those anymore, but let me know down below if you want to see that. But I do like this. I do. Would I purchase it? I um, don't think so. It was a really good one. It's just nothing that kind of blow my mind that I want to repurchase, but if I got it again, I will definitely use it. So it's not a bad. I think it's very good that it has zero uh, perfume parabens dyes it's made in Denmark and it's really really good it exfoliates softens and refreshes the skin effectively so I do like this cleanser very good one okay so let's go with more of cleaning stuff this is my brush cleanser for makeup brushes that I got this one is was it's a dirty you see I've used it a lot it's not bad it just stinks I think I have a little bit left of it, but I'm not going to use it up. But this one stinks. I mean, it's um, it's a good one. It's a good one. Is it the best one? Maybe not. I, I, what brand is this one? I don't even know what brand this is. But it's okay one. If you see it, buy it. But I, I think they are better out there. But it's not bad. Now uh, let's continue with the cleansers. The one that I first used before I went with my fresh soya cleanser is this one from wishful this is clean jenny jenny Gen cleansing balm <laughs> cleansing butter i forgot how to pronounce this but this one was definitely one of my favorite cleansers now uh it smells very nice i i went through it a little bit too fast 
The first, uh, the one that I also like is from uh, Kate Somerville that my friend Valerie sent it to me, but it was like a, uh, in a big jar and it was more like a clean, cleansing, moisturizing, cream, balm, I don't know, lotion, something like that. I don't remember the name, but it was one of the best, best cleansers, cleansers that I've used. And after that one, I went and purchased this one. This one I went a little bit it went through it a little bit faster than that one and maybe I used too much but I felt like I used the right amount to actually feel like my face was clean and nice. I can definitely see myself for purchasing this one because my skin really liked it and it cleaned my makeup beautifully and then I also went with my other cleanser just it, you know to remove the excess. What I like about it is it didn't hurt my eye and removed also stubborn <laughs> makeup. Uh, waterproof mascara. So it was a really really good cleanser and I can definitely see myself purchasing it. Really nice. Okay, so let's see. Also something else for the brushes. I use this blender cleanser from Beauty Blender Solid from Lavender. This one was very very nice. I think I have just a little bit left of it that I'm not going to use. I love lavender. I love the smell. The this I love the scent. It kind of makes me feel relaxed and reminds me of Croatia and summer and uh, summer and beach. Oh, I miss um, going to vacations. But this was a very good one. I purchased this one because I've used another one. I think yes, I used also this one. This is the Revolution Makeup Revolution, the new one. I didn't use it up. Let me just show you how much I have. It's just small amount around here. I didn't get this one. This smells good, but this didn't wa brush, wash my brushes um, properly. I felt like I needed to go over and over in with it because it didn't foam, it didn't uh, clean enough. I always felt like there was rest of makeup on my brushes and my sponges. This kind of worked better for the brushes than it did for the sponges, so I wouldn't repurchase it or I wouldn't recommend it. So I went and bought this one. I did like it, I love this, but I miss my big, um, the, the black version, the black soap, uh, what's it called, the, I forget, I do have it in my bathroom. <laughs> I'm too lazy to go up and be, uh, take it and show you. It's the, charcoal one. I think it's black and a little bit bigger than this one. That one I purchased because it's expensive but it's worth the money. Again, I feel like it's a little bit better than this one. Would I purchase it? Yes, if it was on sale like 50% off, why not? Otherwise I will go for that bigger version of this but this one I don't recommend. I've used this one. This is the No Bay Natural and Organic Gentle Facial Toner. This is for anti-aging. I really like this one. This one has raspberry, marshmallow, and marigold extracts. I really like this one. This was very nice. I like the packaging. I just feel like um, it didn't have a special scent. Uh, I felt like my skin really liked it, so I could definitely see myself repurchasing it. It's just, uh, I feel it's, it's a good product, but I do like to experiment and try different products for my skin and experiment with my, uh, maybe, face products. Maybe that's not a good thing to experiment too much, but I like, I kind of get bored of using the same thing over and over again. Though I'm never bored of using <laughs> uh, this one. This one my holy grail, so that will never get bored. And I don't think I will get bored of this, but I like it. Were we purchasing? Yes. Uh, but not right now because I have plenty of toners to go through. But I do like it and I do recommend it. What I like about it, it's natural and organic, so if you for it's cruelty free. So if you some if you look for a good toner that's organic and also cruelty free, I will definitely definitely recommend this one. It's a good one. Let's so go in with other products. Uh, I went through a lot of uh, face products or uh, toners cleaners. This is the waterproof eye and lip makeup re removal from Lumen. Lumen? Lumen? I can't pronounce this name, but I don't know what to say about it. It's not a bad product. I just felt like it was a little bit too oily. Uh, I felt a little bit too greasy when I was trying to remo remove my eye makeup and I felt like I, when I went 
through with other cleansers i just wanted to remove that kind of sticky oily feeling that i had on my eyes so i don't know if i will recommend it if you don't mind that kind of oily feeling to your eyes and lips so go for it it's just not my cup of tea i feel like it's it bothered me a lot and i didn't enjoy using it but um if i had it in another of my subscription boxes or if i got it as a present i would use it because it's a good product i just didn't like the texture of it okay mascaras oh my god i went through many mascaras and i went through many mascaras is because i had this opened and uh saved for this review okay bambi no have a review about it i don't like it i'm not using didn't do anything for my lashes uh tortoise from tarte it's a very good mascara will repurchase will use it again really really liked it and uh, also uh, the tarte four in one mascara i like this one i will definitely purchase definitely use it this i got from a sister as a birthday present last year i think and i really liked it and i enjoyed this mascara i could see myself repurchasing this one too uh, this is CoverGirl Peacock Flare Waterproof. Um, this one has, was a good mascara. I like the brush. The problem is it says waterproof, but it flaked a lot on my on my eyes, or it flaked a lot on my eyes, and I just didn't feel comfortably using it. I did use it when I was at home because it did give me a beautiful lash. It just flaked a lot. Uh, when it was windy outside and i don't know why maybe it's the texture or i don't know just didn't enjoy this as i as much as i thought uh okay so now we go so long mascara for makeup mecca i love makeup mecca i have plenty of products that i use daily their cream blush the cream bronzer is just beautiful i have their blush here cream blush that i used all the time i just love 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 their products and I use plenty of their products. I just don't like this mascara. It didn't do anything. I do have that review on my um, on my channel. I, if I remember, I will put it up here so you can watch it. But I just feel like it didn't do anything to my lashes. It just gave them some color. I th still have a product in here, but I won't use it. No. And then I have this Wonder Mile High Club Volume and Lifting Mascara from wonder beauty i think this is the only product i've tried from wonder beauty and i also think i got it in one of my subscription or christmas boxes i don't remember but <sighs> no i mean it's a it's a nice mascara if you already have long lashes yes yes use it if you have short lashes i don't think you will enjoy it because it says lengthening you you a liar no nope. don't recommend wouldn't buy and more mascaras i have the same mascara from talk but another packaging light camera lashes loved enjoyed i think i also got this from my sister i can definitely see myself for purchasing i love the packaging i love how it made my lashes long and beautiful and didn't flake didn't smudge liked it a lot uh, but one of the mascara that I miss and want to repurchase again uh, that I can trust love and though it's empty but I still have a hard time throwing it away it's Huda Beauty's length lashes yes it takes longer to apply this because it has two sizes and I feel like I do need to go with in with two sizes uh, both of them I mean before but oh my god this made my lashes long beautiful and very very nice kind of gave me this kind of look um i would say i do have palsy so not exactly but i just love my lashes with this i felt comfortable i felt uh important like like boss girl you know i own the space i own the room and it made me feel beautiful and special so i do enjoy this mascara definitely recommend definitely repurchase now i didn't purchase didn't repurchase it because i have plenty of 
mascaras to use up. Uh, my friend Valerie in our last box swap, she gave me, I think, five or six different mascaras that I can't wait to try out. I'm right now using the Maybelline Sky High. I also just opened the Pat McGrath's one that I really enjoy, and I think I have another one that she, I think, LA Girl, she, that I'm using right now that I do like. So, uh, but I will definitely repurchase it. Definitely love it. Okay, let's go now with this eyelash gel. This is Eyler. Eyler. I can't pronounce you. This is. I like this kind of applicator. That's like a brush. This dried out brush, and I did enjoy this a lot. I just don't know what it happened. If it leaked or something. Uh, so that's why I stopped using it, but I do like it. Would I repurchase it? Not really because right now I'm really enjoying this Street Flash Achiever from um, Street Flash. That's latex free, clear. I enjoy this one a lot. So I think I will repurchase this one a little bit over this one. Now I also went through this Dr. Babor Hy Hydrocellular. Uh, this is a hyaluron cream. I really enjoy uh, Babor. I, I think I pronounced the name right. I'm so bad at pronunciation. Sorry, guys, but that's me. I enjoy this brand. I enjoy everything they do. I really like their products. I've used their foundations uh, a couple of years ago. I also have that cream on my channel. Really, really like this a lot. It's a very good face cream, and I can definitely see myself repurchasing it. The other cream that I also enjoy is Bioderm Blue Therapy. This is a very good cream. I kind of went through it a little bit fast. It smells very nice, very fresh. I did enjoy using it. Uh, it was very moisturizing, very nice on the skin, and I can uh, recommend it. I, do, I think I got this as a to try out and review, and I enjoyed it. I really like it. I can definitely see myself for purchasing. If you don't like scents, I don't know if you're going to like it because it does have that. It's not too strong scent, but it's not perfume free. So then I've used this Avant Hyaluronic Collagen Age Restore 3 in 1 Hyaluron Filler College Eye Formula. This was a long, long na name. I don't know if you can see this one. Sorry for my nails. They are too long. I know. Too long. I know. Okay, so I enjoy, enjoyed this eye cream. Um, I can see myself using it. Repurchase. Let's, let me be honest. I never repurchase creams or eye creams because I always find something new, something, something other, something special, something different to try out, experiment. So I, I always get bored using the same thing. And even if I have a little bit left, I'm kind of using more and more just to, you know, finish the product because I want to try something else, even if it works. So this works. It's a good uh, eye cream. It made my under eyes very smooth, very nice. Didn't really raise my wrinkles, but it kind of make my under eye look more healthy and um, not as dry. So it's a good one. I can see myself use again. Right now I'm using two different eye products or eye creams. I use this La Roche or something, Hydra Face Intense Eye Cream. And I'm also using this Skin Label, uh, Skin Label Eyelid Lifting Serum right now for my eyelids. So I just started using it and that review will be soon on my channel. Okay, Fenty Beauty Mascara, uh, small, small, small mascara. I got it in my boxes. This is this is a good mascara. This is a good mascara. It's not the best. I want to repurchase it because I feel like it's a it's a okay mascara. But it's not something I will run out and buy at Huda Beauty. So maybe because it's a smaller size that I just didn't enjoy it as much. But I no. I have others that I like. Something that I repurchased a couple of times is actually this eyeshadow primer from Wet n Wild. This is the Photo Focus. If you have oily eyelids, I will definitely recommend this one. If you like the Urban Decay, you will like this one too. It doesn't have any coverage to it. No. 
but it does make my eyelids nice and dry and let's just say I don't like my oils coming through when it comes to my eyelid uh, and this is really really good one I now tried over 10 other eyelid uh, primers or eyeshadow primers that I'm going to review. I know I'm always saying that video will come next week, that video will come next week, and it never does. It's because I'm still trying out some of the eyeshadow primers in different ways just to see if it's going to work better or not. But I reviewed like over 30 different um, eyeshadow primers on my channel a couple of years ago. That video is still good still i agree with everything i said in that video so it's it on my channel it's one of my most viewed videos and i'm working on a updated video with other eyeshadow primers and uh, so that video will be soon on my channel i promise you guys it just takes a long time to prepare a lot of time to film and edit so i haven't been able to do that but i'm trying out more and more of eyeshadow primers just because i want to see what's good out there what's working for your oily eyelid so this one i definitely recommend i repurchase it and i can definitely see myself repurchasing it repurchasing it again oh i feel i'm very dry in the water because i talk too much this is a skindinavia the makeup prime spray and i already still have some product on and i'm not going to use it up it's because it's nothing that i enjoy using I love their setting sprays. It's something about this that I do not like. This is um, oil-free, paraben-free, fine mist. I do not like this mist. Uh, do you see? I don't know if you can see, but it kind of spreads unevenly. I know some people enjoy this. I don't like the scent either. Uh, I don't like it. I don't, I don't feel it makes my face makeup stay longer. It just... No, I don't enjoy it. I can't recommend it. I know some people like it, swear by it. I try to use it as a primer or try to use it on top of, uh, after I finish my makeup as a setting spray. No, too old, don't like it. Now I've used this tooth whitening toothpaste. I like them. They didn't do so much for my teeth, but I like them. And I can see myself repurchasing them was the best I don't know guys I don't feel like they were the best but it didn't make things worse so I kind of felt a little bit like my teeth got more white but I enjoyed them so I would can definitely see myself repurchasing this one is instant teeth whitening toothpaste this is the instant teeth whitening toothpaste dark stain they were the same. I promise I'm almost finished. I've used this Wishful Honey Balm Jelly Moisturizer that I got sample size. And when I use this, guys, let me tell you that I wanted to purchase a big size and use it because my skin loved, loved this. The reason I didn't buy it because it got a little bit warm outside and I feel like this is more suitable for winter, fall and winter because I felt like it's not heavy. Yeah, maybe not. It doesn't feel heavy, but it still feels that texture, that formula kind of feels more heavier than uh, other face creams that I use. So I will definitely purchase this in the fall to use it because my skin really loved it and I have combination skin. And I really love Wishful products. I don't know what it is with this brand, but Wishful is my jam. It's my favorite, favorite, favorite uh, brand. For skin. Okay, Oilaplex. Let's talk about Oilaplex. I've used five and four and I have all those others too. I feel bad talking about this and the reason is because I'm not in love with this like every everyone else and I don't know really why. Maybe I do. I'm always honest on my channel, so let me just be honest. Don't get me wrong. If you love any of these products that I'm talking about, you do you boo. It just does, didn't really make me as satisfied, satisfied as I would like to be with products that I purchased. So, Olaplex, I do like it. I know, I know my hairdresser always put it when she uh, used these products, number three, uh, when she washes my hair and I, she swears by it and it like everybody can feel difference in my hair 
I, I don't feel any difference in my hair. Oilaplex, I've used this and it didn't make my hair worse, but it just didn't even make my hair so much, much better. My ends are very dry and I don't know if this made my ends a little bit better, but or I just expect a little bit too much because when I purchased this product, I expected my hair to change. I expect my hair to look very healthy, very shiny and um, not as dry. This was a good product. I can see myself repurchasing it because it wasn't bad. I have some shampoos that make my hair look worse than it is. So I don't use these, but this didn't make my hair worse. It did make a little bit of change, but not too much. But I also used this like two, three times and I went to another and went back and then went on another and went back to this. So maybe I didn't was, wasn't consistent with this product. Maybe I should be that and see big and nice, bigger results, but it's not bad. So I can, I just feel like it's a little bit too expensive for what you get. Uh, maybe you pay for the brand. Maybe actually it's good. I don't know. Uh, it says damage and freeze strong. I don't know. My hair is always freezy. There is no shampoo, no product that didn't, that made my hair not freezy. I'm sorry, but there is no, if I let my hair air dry, it will be freezy. It doesn't matter what I use on, on it. It doesn't matter what product I use. It doesn't matter how expensive that product is or great. It's still will freezy. If I dry it with a brush that may be less freezy, but it still will be freezy. If it starts raining outside, my hair will be this huge. So everything that says freeze, I buy anti-freeze. I buy because I don't want my hair to be freezy, but it's always freezy. So I don't know. It's a good... Do I recommend it? I don't know. I do not know. I don't want to say buy and I don't want to say don't buy. It's just not a miracle like everybody else says it is. Maybe because I wasn't consistent, like I said, maybe I should use it in a different way. Maybe I should just use this and nothing else. I don't know. Maybe I did wrong. If I did, please let me know down below. But I have to be honest, this wasn't magic and I was expecting magic. This is a body scrub that a girl that I met on... Um, Instagram made this is from Lavender Body Scrub Skin uh, Peel Off Selma Sh Sugaring. Uh, it's her name is Selma Underline Sugaring. I bought this from her and uh, I really enjoy this. Is the Lavender Sugar Scrub? I bought a couple of these, I still have it. And I have the gold one and this lavender. I like both of them. I think a lavender is a little bit more my 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 cup of tea, uh, but I love body scrubs and I'll use them, buy them again. Why not? Okay, then I think a product that I really enjoyed, I didn't thought that I would enjoy. This is the for, for Physician's Formula, the Healthy Foundation. I really enjoy this product. This is a very good foundation. So if you have oily or combination skin, but you don't want a matte foundation, you don't want that matte, matte look, you want more of that healthy glow, but a foundation that you can trust will stay on your skin. This is one to go through too. It's actually that healthy glow. Now I do get oily, so I did got oily with this foundation too, but it lasted a very long time and after maybe 11, 12 hours I did look oily that I needed, you know, to powder down a little bit, but it still looked very good. It looked fresh after, you you know, using just a little bit of powder to remove excess oil. I really, really like this. This is for all skin types and I think it works. My friend Valerie has more dry skin and I know she really likes this foundation. So it feels like it does work for all skin types. So I do really enjoy this foundation. The other foundation that's my holy grail, I really swear by this foundation, is Catrice HD Liquid Foundation that lasts up to 24 hours. This is mattifying, water and sweat proof, second skin effect. I'm sorry guys if you can hear my kids, they're running around and playing. I hope they're not too loud. 
like I said in the beginning of this video, I do have a new phone or new phone. No, I do have a new mic that maybe picks up more of the sound. That smilifying water sweatproof resistant. I don't know if it's waterproof or resistant, I don't think so, but it's actually one of my favorite foundations that I can go back to, always go back to, trust a lot. It kind of replaced the took the place of my Estee Lauder Double Wear that it's such a beautiful, beautiful foundation. But it costs a little bit more. This is giving me the same effect, though this one dries a little bit more or faster on the skin, uh, Estee Lauder Double Wear. You get more time to work with it on the skin. This one dries a little bit faster on the skin, so you need to work a little bit faster, maybe use one side at a time. But I really enjoy this foundation. It's also very good if you want to build up the coverage and it doesn't, it still won't look cakey. Really, really love this. I went through another one of these. I still have uh, a new one that I just opened I'm using. I do not like the packaging. I hate the packaging. I wish it was a pump instead of this thing. I, I don't like the packaging. Hopefully she will change the packaging, but not change the formula because I tried a couple of other Catrice foundation that didn't really work the same way. I just love this. My holy grail. Love it so much. Okay, it's two products. I also tried Laneige, the Water Sleep Mask Lavender. Really like this mask. This is a beautiful cream. I got the sample size. I really like it. I can see myself purchasing a full size. It's a very good night cream that also makes my uh, face look very healthy and moisturizing in the morning so i definitely recommend this i love it and lavender it does have and i don't have it left i just smell the packaging and it does have that slightly lavender scent it's not overpowering it's not going to smell on your face the whole night it's just giving you that nice soft lavender scent so i really enjoy this one and the last thing I have is the Body Shop. This is the Body Shop Juice Pear Hand Cream. I love hand creams from Body Shop. It's one of the best hand creams out there. I will repurchase and repurchase. They're cruelty free. I uh, really like them. I have, uh, I think I got this one, my subscription boxes. I really enjoyed it. I have one that I didn't open, the Christmas kind of collection that I still haven't used, that I'm going to use. So you'll see it on my channel in my empties soon. But I really enjoy this hand creams and I can definitely uh, recommend the Body Shop's hand creams, like them a lot. Okay, this is a very long video. We went through my trash and that's everything for this month. Now I do this maybe every two, three months when I feel like I have a plenty of products that I can talk about. But guys, let me know down below the products you used out this month that you love, enjoy and will repurchase. But also, I'm kind of curious to know if there is any product that you tried and you were like, I want to finish it because I paid for it, but it's not worth a cent. Let me know down below. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I see you in my next video. Bye.